Massive Sophos stand at Infosec 2013 at Earl's Court in London. Uh, tell us a little bit about the background of Sophos then. Uh, tell us what you do. So, essentially, uh, Sophos is a security company. We're, we're focused on protecting our customers against a myriad of different types of attacks on the internet. Everything from malicious computer viruses through to some of the kind of hacktivist attacks you might have seen in the media over the last little while. We about 150 million computers around the globe. And that does tend to keep us quite busy. And notice mentions about the cyber war and how not to get caught up in it around the stand. Is it really a cyber war out there? How serious are the threats of businesses uh, at the minute? It's, it's a massive buzzword challenge. You really can't win this kind of cyber war game. If you talk about cyber, then people go, oh, I, I know what that is. Security is important. We should do the cyber thing. If you don't talk about cyber, oh, sorry, if you do talk about cyber though, you're also cursed by this challenge that a lot of people in the profession See, the issue is people say, cyber war, you know, we've got this impending massive explosion of nuclear reactors, planes are about to fall out of the sky, which is a little bit of an over-dramatization. The majority of malicious code attacks quite simply want your credit card details. It doesn't mean we shouldn't pay attention to the potential severity of the issue more and more malicious code targeting physical infrastructure. But right now, we need to learn, learn to draw a distinction between mainstream malware, intelligence, and actual war. People aren't getting shot, that's a key distinction. What are the attitudes towards organizations, generally speaking, about cyber war, if you want to call it that, at the moment? Is it something that organizations are taking seriously as they develop their infrastructure, or is it still very much a bolt on? It's, it's a huge challenge. I mean, security has been a major concern for organizations for, for many, many years. But when you actually look at the stats today, right now we'll see about 250,000 new pieces of malicious code just today. About 30,000 new websites will get infected and about 80% of new small businesses. The horrifying kind of challenge of all this is that 99% of it doesn't happen due to some super clever high-end zero-day exploit and some cyber war, it happens because people have bad passwords, they don't patch their computers, and they don't run effective security controls. So whilst all those scenarios are absolutely true, we need to be worried about nation states and the like, we still need people to realize they need to act at home. And one of the big dangers of this cyber war banner is it makes people think it's out of their control. It's government business, and it makes them personally want to do less to protect their computer, which is how we can have the biggest impact. On a bigger scale, governments must be quite worried about the threats posed not only to just government information, but just general information by perhaps people who haven't been you know, educated or taught about the threats that their everyday data might be open to. Uh, absolutely. I mean, you've got to imagine the kind of increase in connectivity between kind of physical and digital world now. I mean, it's quite staggering. And most of us know someone that's kind of three or four years old that knows how to use an iPad. I mean, it's quite an incredible world. And that obviously comes at a cost, potentially, of greater exposure to cyber criminals. We're giving them more power in the physical world you know, through that traditional attack channel. Governments are definitely recognizing that, putting a huge focus on it. In the UK, we've seen you know, multiple awards of 650, 700 million pounds to organizations like GCHQ to develop in the area of cyber. We've got initiatives like the UK Cyber Security Challenge that Sophos participates in, which is all about generating the next generation of talent to help secure the internet, make sure we're ready to combat that next generation of cyber threats. So it's a huge concern. Of course, all of this does end up costing businesses money. Have you seen the effects of the global recession uh, playing into the hands of uh, the hackers and those that are posing threats in a way? Well, there's, there's two interesting trends. Number one, you know, since we entered the, re the recession, there has been some acceleration above kind of what we predicted as the norm in terms of malicious code. You could argue maybe that hard times have bred a temptation um, to criminality, particularly when you look at how easy it is now to get yourself set up as a malware author 
kind of to steal money. It's, it's astonishing some of these toolkits that come with nice documentation and click through user interfaces. And you don't have to be that spotty teenage geek that everyone likes to kind of imagine as the hacker that's sitting there trying to get to this. So that, that's definitely been one piece of that. The other one is, frankly, just restricted spending on security controls. People will take more risks, they'll narrow kind of their investment. And that's been a key tenant of our strategy in trying to protect small and medium businesses, offering them more out of that same budget, making it easier to use, being respectful of the fact that there is just less resource and less money to go around in an area where the threat is escalating, not diminishing. A buzzword that's been thrown at me whilst I've been here on the Sophos stand was the word ransomware. Oh. Explain what's meant by that. Yeah, it's a great buzzword, isn't it? Um, a very scary group of, of malware. Uh, a lot of the kind of traditional malicious code over the last few years was focused on stealing your credit card details. The good thing about this is in most instances, as a consumer or a small business, you get your money back. You know, someone would kind of recognize this as fraudulent, they block it, you get a refund, you know, you were insured for that. This new category of malware has been around for a few years. Actually, one of the original copies goes back nearly 20 years, but recently has massively escalated in complexity and efficiency. What it'll do, as you're browsing you know, the internet, because you're not patched and up to date, this malicious code gets on your computer and it starts encrypting your files. So imagine pictures of your firstborn child, corporate accounts, I mean, really sensitive stuff. Even the backups, potentially, of those files get encrypted. The problem is, you don't have the password. The cyber criminals do. And they then pop up a message demanding that you pay them money to get access to your data again which is a horrifying literal ransom of your data on your computer. Imagine you know, you're a CEO with access to all of the company's resources and intellectual property. Now, even though you're not an administrator, a technical administrator, you could wipe out an entire business with one foolish click. So this is definitely a category of malware you're gonna watch out for. If you get it, you can't clean it up. Definitely a good reason to invest in security proactively. And you're here demonstrating various different aspects of the Sophos product range. Uh, tell us about some of the things that you employ for your clients to help protect them against these trends. So, so we've got a wealth of things going on here. It's really exciting. I mean, as I mentioned earlier, we have a mass of different solutions, everything from data protection through to anti-malware solutions, huge, huge spectrum, even protecting mobile devices. Two things that are particularly new, uh, we're actually running demonstrations of our new Sophos Cloud Vita, which is a platform built with channel and with small and medium businesses particularly in mind. It makes it really simple, with very little infrastructure at all, to run an effective security platform, hitting to the core of that you know, global recession question we talked about earlier. We've also released a, a new version of our protection for mobile devices, picking up on that huge trend of cyber criminals targeting the Android mobile phone, uh, mobile phone platform. So we've built in some anti-spam capabilities. You've probably had some of those PPI text messages. So we could deal with that issue for you and it's available on our website now. So lots of exciting things going on here.